Okay, so we have some comments yeah. by Brother Hamid and so then we'll have other people. I have this Masarul Ladina Kafaru Birabdihim Amalahum Kasaram. So this is very much clear. Those who did kufr, their amal will be like uh, um, some ashes blowing away in the stormy days. So meaning they will have no weight, nothing. But some people think, uh, I would not say some people think, but is, is the amal of those who do not, uh, who do kufr are going waste, no matter how much charity, how much uh, things they have, done, uh, they have done, number one. The, actually, these are all three questions. Maybe you or Brother Nazir can answer those. And the other one is the word wara'ehi, before or ahead of. Um, but in some places in the Quran, it is used as after. After Ishaq al-Islam, Yaqub al-Islam. And number third question is, Yom Asif. This uh, seems to me the rule, uh, uses the rule of Adafa. So this should be Mudaf Mudaf al Yomun Asifin. But some grammarians say this is a Sifr. So these are my three questions, so which I am struggling to understand. Okay. Do you want to answer? Yes, well, I think uh, let's talk about Wara'ihi. Wara'ihi is... Uh, Can you come close? Means, <laughs> what is he expecting? What in front of him? What, what was next to be to him? So in Wara'ihi, remember, as you said, one in Wara'ihi, Yaquba, Ishaq. Ishaq. So what is... Uh, After. Uh, okay. After. ومن وراء يعقوب إسحاق. so إسحاق was before يعقوب, right? actually إسحاق يعقوب. إسحاق was before يعقوب. yeah, yeah. right. so this is like before him. so before means means what what is what is he ending to? so the end of it وراء جهنم and وراء عذاب. so he is ending into عذاب. so the وراء is actually ending to. that's that's what it comes. Where my descendant ended to, to my father, to my grandfather, and so on. So that's the end of it. That's the wara. Wara is my end. So that's one. The other thing is what you said <coughs> about a'maluhum. Uh, so here, masalu a'malu al-lazina kafaru. So a'maluhum came after this. Masalu al-a'malu al-lazina kafaru. Karamad, so amaluhum as an ashes. So that's how it is. Masaluhum kamasali ramad. As an example of a ramad, ishtaddat bihir rihu fi yawm al asif. So what's your question is, uh, there, there, uh, it is that you will, the ramad has a value in its place, but the moment it is done, it is gone, has no value. The value of the ramad to protect the fire, to protect that uh, the heat, and to keep it. When you blow it, it has no more value. So their uh, amal has a value in dunya, but has no value in the akhirah. Yeah. And that's why it is a dalal ba'id. Dalal is a waste. It's not, I mean, it, it is like illusion. No, no reality in it. The moment it is gone, it is gone. It has no value. So that's my uh, comments here, but maybe. Well, if you had a comment, which, you know, um, he says that some grammarians say this is a sifat, some say it is mudaf mudafala. Yawm al asifin? No, it is sifat. So that's mudaf. It is sifat. Yawm al asifin. It is a, a, a strong day. So not only ishtaddat, it's also asif. Mm -hmm. So asif is strong and ishtaddat is stronger. So it comes to two emphasize that it is no way it can leave it. It's like tornado. But they didn't say tornado okay. here. Yeah. I, I have a question. Because had, uh, Asif Saab, um, same question came to my mind that when you pronounce Asif and you pronounce Asif. Okay. This is Urdu. The, no, the, well, wait a minute. 
So I try to, Asif Saab, you and there are a few other people whose name is yeah. Asif, yeah. okay? Yeah. With the Alif and a Mad. Yeah. So I was, this, this is not a go, good word. This Asif is a storm, okay, which is not storm. a good word. So, but in Urdu, in Urdu, we write the Asif with the Alif and a Mad, okay? Yeah. So I try to look in all the dictionaries, Arabic, Urdu, English, there is no word Asif. With the alif. It's very common. Word. It's a very common <laughs> word. Okay. Arch. The only word I could find out with these three root letters, alif, swad, and fa was isfahan. Oh, isfahan is written see, with alif, yeah. si, swad, and fa. Asfahan. Yeah. Asfahan. Yeah. But that's the name of a city in so Iran. Yeah. Okay. So Asif that's the Arabic. only thing I could find with those three root letters. Yeah, but asif in Arabic means condensed. Together has a strong oh. value. With alif? Yeah, with al alif. Asif is ah. condensed. Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah. But uh, okay, it's not, a, it's not, not in the Quran. Quran. Like, you know, uh, it is like, you know, put together, uh, connected together, okay. condensed. Is it imported because in the Arabic grammar, <laughs> Arabic in dictionary, have, I could not find in Arabic dictionary. No, we have a lot of these names in Arabic, by the way. No, 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 the name yeah. is there. Asif it's Arabic. common name in Urdu also, a lot of people Jee. have this name. In, 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 I've, I've read someplace uh, the name of the jinn who brought the uh, throne. Yeah, Asif also, yeah. Oh, Asif. His Asif. name is Asif. Yeah. So Asif Saab, this is the, the name, name of a jinn, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, I, I, I have those uh, values, <laughs> some of those. <laughs> <laughs> so, I, I have a, so this is great. Thank you for this explanation. One question is the storm, the day of storm, is it indirectly referring to Qiyamah as well? No, no, no. no, no, no. no. It's an example uh, in the worldly life also. I see. Even in no, the no, world like, when uh, Qiyamah. Like Katrina. I mean, this one of this, uh, yeah, when a storm comes here, everything blows away. No, no, but from a context, like because uh, for those who disbelieve in their Lord, their deeds are, so I felt that uh, if you disbelieve in an afterlife when Qiyamat happened, your worldly deeds are gone because they are washed away like a storm. That's how I was thinking uh, in a context. In that context, so, uh, uh, the Asif, can be uh, yeah, but uh, uh, lasting. It's talking about instead that bihi the ramad. We're talking about the ashes. Ramad is bihi. Ramad is masculine here. The ramad has been instead that bihi With the so, winds. With the, the the ramad has been blow. When you blow in the ramad, it will it will go as a dust. But when you have a strong blow, also it will take it totally. It will clean it up. Like you know, like a hard pushing. That's a reach, is like, you know, uh, a wind in strong wind. A strong uh, pressure, strong wind. Uh, air pressure. Recently in the Spanish, yes, about get, get the Jabra Rahu, it says, uh, Brother Hafiz is saying, step by step. But then gulp is not step by step. Gulp is somebody trying to have a, you know, big. Yeah, it is gulp, yeah, actually. It's opposite. Yeah. It's gulp. Opposite. Yeah. yeah. So, it's like, you know, it's has been. Like, you know, glug, 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 like taking it uh, in, in, in quantity. So this would be yeah, opposite. Yeah, that's not said. No, that's, he said glug. No, but I was giving an example. Oh, uh, okay, no. You, 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 you try to glug, bring that, and you again try to bring something, yeah. yeah. Big, huge quantity going into Europe. Here, just one, one, one comment here. Yusir is from Asaga. Mm -hmm. Asaga. 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 With the four letter Afala. becomes Asaga. Yeah. yeah. So it is Afala. You start with Sin Wow and Ghen uh, and then Babe Afala will be Asaga. Afala. Yeah. Asaga. So yeah. he is forcing himself to accept it. Okay. So he and the ha is going to the ma sadid, yeah. the water. water. He is forcing the ma to be accepted to him. So I can take it. So let me take it. Let me try it. That's why Asaga is a third person. You know, the Af not not yeah, doing yes, it. Yeah. He is forcing. It. So like you know, forcing himself to take it, and he cannot accept okay. it. Now, uh, doctor, so, is uh, which, can you? Uh, sorry, sorry for, uh, for from Brother Nazim or uh, from you is if like um, when is this storm happening? Is it during the life or? Is it at okay. the camera time? This example is a method, an example 
is like oh, an ashes. So exactly. the ashes, just so something you see in your worldly life, how, what the wind will do to the ashes, that's what will happen to their a'mal in the day after. Okay, but the, uh, one more, the, I got yeah. it. Yeah, okay, okay, one more clarification, sorry about this drag. Sure. Uh, is this, uh, like for example, a lot of us in a modern life, we give donation and do things but we don't believe uh, at heart that we are we are doing for the cause of Allah, but we have some good intentions, but they are materialistic as well. Uh, this seems like a disbelief that is actual anti-God thought. So, so is this... Well, I mean, a, this is uh, a doubt in yourself, which is great sometimes, you know, to have, you want to do the best, you always look for the best. But uh, Allah accepts anything you do. I mean, uh, it is your intention. Yeah, it's your intention is the most important. Yeah. Okay. So, Dr. Sahib has something to add. Please okay, go ahead. Okay, so I think uh, I'm trying to answer Rasa Sahib and uh, Hamid Sahib's initial question. First of all, I always I understand that never read one verse in isolation. If you see the theme here, the prior verses are that people who do bad, do wrong, their end was described in dunya. So like we talked about uh, Kamiyat, uh, Samud, and Shuaib, and Fir'aun, so their ending was not good in dunya. Now the topic is starting in the hereafter. <coughs> that is one concept to understand. Okay, so the other thing which over here is being pointed out, that you have to see the Quran in the context over here, this is uh, uh, Ibrahim 18, Surah Ibrahim. Over here, the example, the amal which are lost are compared, made like an ashes. So who are these people whose amals are like this? Actually, you have to see uh, Surah Nisa, uh, you know, 4, 150. Over there, the disbelievers are defined. So somebody, they don't believe in God, somebody who believe in, uh, believes in different God, some people who don't believe in all prophets, they do differences, so it explains there. You got to see the context. So this is about the disbelieving and the outcome. So Quran says there, all the deeds they feel, all their achievements, medals, whatever, they will be just like ashes. So if they were disbeliever, according to that, I quoted that verse. And number two, if you see Furqan 23, okay, over there, they will become like uh, dust, okay. In uh, uh, 24, Noor uh, 39, it will be like a mirage, like a deception. In Al Imran 3, 117, it will be like a cold wind, which is coming on the harvest and destroying it. In Surah Bakra uh, 264, it says that the rain is coming on a flat, on a rock, which has some of their uh, duniyavi medals and achievements. And when the rain comes, everything will be washed away and there will be nothing. <coughs> Surah Bakr 264. <coughs> so if you see in that context, over here, the word Sadid, which uh, Hafiz have said, actually if you go to Surah Sa, 38, verse 57 and 58, over there the word Hameem and Ghasak are used. So the Hafisa was saying it is oozing, but in the dictionary I was looking that it means something very repulsive, but it also says something which is very hot. So if you see in Ghasak, Surah Saad, chapter 38, verse 57 and 58, Hameem is very, very hot. And Ghasak is extremely intensely cold. So something will be, and then you see, I just want to say uh, the other verse, you know, 47, uh, 15, you know, over there it says that the hard water, when they will swallow, it will cut their intestine. Then you can see uh, Surah Hajj 22, 19 to 20, uh, 21, they will wear the, the garments of fire. So if you see in all these contexts, who are the, these are the people who are getting? 
and yesterday we were hearing the lecture about iman and yakin so if somebody really has that yakin that these things can happen one would wonder that should i really <coughs> proceed this one okay can you just allow anybody has question <coughs> online <coughs> just one second let me see any any comments online or question ये हमारे यहाँ जब आगे चलती थी तो आप लोगों ने याद हो शायद किसी को कि एक लफ्ज होता था बगूला तो वो ही ये चीज है जो मतलब वो वाली हवा हमारी जुबान में समझ ली जाएगी जी जी बगूला है या आसिफ यानी वो जो कंकरों भरी पथरीली बारीक बारीक कंकर होते हैं उसके अंदर और वो जिस वक्त की चलती है आंधी तो जिस जगह से शुरू होती है वो इतनी तेज होती है कि उसके अंदर जो भी चीज आती है वो उसको उड़ा के ले जाती है और वो वाली जमीन जिस जहाँ से शुरू होती है जो शुरू होता है वो जमीन बिल्कुल साफ हो जाती है तो वो यहाँ पर जो ये इसकी मिसाल दी गई है ना कि लोगों के जो दुनिया के अमाल इन्होंने जो भी किए होंगे वो उनके अमल इस तरीके से ज़ाय हो जाएंगे जिस तरह से कि वो कंकरीली हवा जो है वो हर चीज़ को उड़ा के और ले जाती है ख़त्म कर देती है जी जी बिल्कुल ठीक है सही सही कहा आपने अच्छा हेलो सलाम सलाम मुझे क्वेश्चन क्या है लेकिन लेकिन ये जो है ना यता जल रहा जी तो यहाँ ये पूरी जो आयत है तो इसमें एक तो ये है कि ही वेरी हार्ड टाइम टू सॉलो एंड स्टिल ही इज अनएबल टू सॉलो इट बट ये जो वहां के बाद जो है याद हिल मौत हो मिनकुल मकानों तो मौत इज कमिंग फ्रॉम एवरी साइड इसका क्या मतलब है मतलब ये कि वो फील करेंगे ना कि वो खत्म हो रहे हैं मौत आ रही है बड़ा सख्त उनके ऊपर वक्त आया हुआ है लेकिन फिर भी वो नहीं मरेंगे वहां पर मौत तो एक ही दफा आएगी दुनिया में लेकिन उनके अमाल की वजह से जहनम की जो सजाएं हैं वो इतनी शदीद तरीन होंगी कि वो ये चाहेंगे कि हम मर जाएंगे मर जाएं बल्कि वहाँ दुआ भी मांगेंगे कि हमें मौत आ जाए वो चाहेंगे भी तो नहीं आएगी ending of the suffering one but in the hereafter it is a continuous suffering so that is eternal मसले के वो जो डिफिकल्ट इतनी डिफिकल्टी में तो दुनिया में मौत आ जाती है लेकिन वहाँ की डिफिकल्टी में मौत नहीं आएगी इसलिए कि वो अल्लाह का फैसला यही है कि देर इज़ नो डेथ देर आफ्टर वो एक जगह ये भी है ना कुरान के अंदर कि अगर वो चाहेंगे भी तो उन्हें मौत नहीं आएगी जी जी दे विल आस्क एंजल्स यू नो टू गिव दैम डेथ टू गिव दैम डेथ बट दे विल बी नो डेथ देयर so but maybe here it means to be you know guys to see in any case in front of every side in any case they will go through that is it in any way in any yeah, side yeah. any anywhere it it yeah. feels yeah. like uh, the, the punishment is so severe that it in the body life the death will come in that case but there it will, it will not yeah. come dr sab you had some question yes sir uh, the is is the nature of this it is that <clears throat> whatever you do in the world deeds are blown away in here day here after if you are not a believer it means you are kafir mm-hmm. means you worship other than allah that's the gist of this yes now i just want i'm not able to digest something starting from the light which we are sitting in mm-hmm. to the communication you are making to the transport the medicine the knowledge you have acquired and the the you the reason you have come here to enjoy mm-hmm. this the country <coughs> the comforts and all the discoveries inventions everything in the world comes mm-hmm. 90% done by the kafir 99% mm-hmm. so all that you we are enjoying the deeds of these people will be blown away just like that But I don't. I'm not able to conceive that. Understand? Okay. That everything. Let now me, you don't give me four tap for another no, iron. No, 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 I'm let, telling you. Let, let me comment something. It is 99 percent 
done by the people who we think they are kafir. We think no, they no, are kafir, not, but not, we don't know if please, they are kafir or not. Please, one minute. I know. He says, if you don't believe in Allah, and oneness we, of Allah. We think they don't believe in Allah. No, no, oneness of Allah. No, 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 maybe they believe in Allah, but we don't know. No, we know. We think no, we are lying, but they are wrong. It is, the we think they are wrong. That's another interpretation we're going to. I'm telling here, you, all of us Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who decides who is the right or wrong. All of us who are sitting here are believing I know, what all of us think they are kafir, but yes. maybe we are the kafir and they are the right. Yes, but that's we not the answer done. to me. My question, our all understanding, interpretations, just blindly saying that everything for which you have benefited, you are benefiting from modernity living, travel from here to uh, your country, and uh, the light you are putting on, the communication you are making, the medicine you are eating, the surgeries you go through, is it all done by a Muslim? No, but I can just translate that question. No, this is an ayah. You are not answering. So maybe this is a good question. We'll continue yeah. after the yeah. class. Okay, yeah. let me see. If um, there is any other question I mean, online, <coughs> just one so second. Yeah, one second. Kafaru is the uh, disbeliever, but there is another word called agnostic, right? Uh, so he does not deny and he does not believe. So where does he fall? Okay. I think we can continue after the class. Sir, can you recite please? من ورائه جهنم ويسقى من ماء صديد يتجرعه ولا يكاد يسيغه ويأتيه الموت من كل مكان وما هو بميت ومن ورائه عذاب غليظ مثل الذين كفروا بربهم آمالهم كرماد اشتدت به الريح في يوم عاصف لا يقدرون مما كسبوا على شيء ذلك هو الضلال البعيد صدق الله العظيم Subhanakallahumma wa bihamdika wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.